What's up, everyone? This is Nancy Drew. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Nancy Drew The Final Scene. I got some really great news about this Let's Play. This is officially the last game in the Nancy Drew series that I don't own on Steam, which I am so excited about, because after this, I don't have to worry about buying any more Nancy Drew games, I can just sail through recording all the rest of them. Plus, I can actually use the game recording settings, I think, for my rec uh, capture software, so I don't have to keep switching between that and recording for desktop whenever I'm alternating between this and ukulele, so that'll be cool. Anyway, we are here to do a mystery, of course, so let's go ahead and jump in. This is game number five in the Nancy Drew series. And as always, we will be playing on Senior Detective, because we're cool like that. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Palladium. Aww. This place has been a landmark for almost a century. And now, in just three days, it's going to be demolished. I wish I could have seen the theater back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. Ooh. There's a lot of public opposition to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has that local activists are planning to stage a big protest out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they'll let us in since Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Oh boy, a press pass sure does come in handy. Maya told me she has an interesting lead, and we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. I know he's one of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Maya always gets the full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. I guess Bess has moved on from uh, Rick Arlen. Anyway, this is day one. Okay, Nancy. Here I go. Cross your fingers, there's a story behind this door. Go get him, Scoop. All right. I'll meet you in the lobby. Testing. <laughs> testing. One, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> Think I'll go check out the snacks. Snacks, huh? Whoa! That sounds like Maya! Oh, no! Nancy! Uh, okay, let's find out what's going on. Women's dressing room? Aww. All right, we gotta find out what's going on here. This music is super tense. Uh. I guess this is the lobby area? Oh, there's the snacks. Can I go and find out what's going on? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I hope we're not under a time limit. Are we being timed for this? That's a pretty crazy way to start the game. Whoa, that cardboard cutout kind of fooled me there for a minute. Okay, we need to get backstage, right? So, is going over here going to help with that? Uh, wait, this is where we were earlier, right? Um, well, we're getting quite the tour of this place, that's for sure. Oh, we're back here again. Well, um, yeah, I don't really know what we're doing here, but, uh, I'm sure all will be revealed in due time, everybody. We'll, we'll find out what's going on. We just need to figure out a way to get backstage to where Maya was screaming. Why would someone... I guess kidnap her? It sounds like that was what was going on, right? Alright. Maybe we just need to slow down and look around. No one's on the phone. Hmm. Let's just take a look around here first. Maybe there's something here that reveals where Maya went. Can we pull the fire alarm since it's an emergency and stuff? Oh wait, we can't actually go in here. Unless it's a different men's dressing room. Alright, well, let's take a look around. There's a mirror. Uh-oh, phone. Where's that phone ringing coming from? 
Here it is. Hello? Listen carefully. If they knock the theater down, a girl goes with it. Whoa. What? Who is this? Hello? Hello? Uh, I guess we have to hang up. Can we hang up? Can we call anybody? Oh, this is phone number four, so we can't call this one. Okay. That makes sense. Uh-oh, it's ringing again. You'll never get away with this, do you hear me? I don't think this is uh, the same person. This is the projection room calling. You're messing with the wrong girls, whoever you are. She's a reporter and I'm a detective, and we don't scare easy. Um, this is Joseph Hughes, the caretaker. I'm looking for Brady Armstrong. He said he'd be there. Who's this? And what's all the excitement? My friend has disappeared from Brady's dressing room. I heard her scream. I think she's been kidnapped. Now, now, please try to calm down and tell me what's going on. What's your name, dear? My name is Nancy Drew. Maya Wynn is my friend, and she's gone. I was out in the hall when I heard her scream. I don't know how they could have taken her. Disappeared from the men's dressing room? What makes you think she was taken? I just received a threatening call saying if I don't stop the theater demolition, I'll never see her again. Whoa. They must have taken her through that secret passageway. Holy smokes. And you're on an inside line. Yeah. The call must have come from inside the building. We gotta act quick. You check out the secret passageway. I'll make sure all the exits are locked and then I'll come find you. All right. Hey, you. No groupies in the dressing rooms. But since you're such a rascally fan, what would you say to a signed autograph from yours truly? Oh my goodness, this guy has just as much of an ego as Rick Arlen does. I'm not here for an autograph. My friend's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Maybe you better tell me what's going on here. I heard Maya scream. When I got here, she was gone, vanished. And then I got a creepy phone call from the kidnapper. But where could they have taken her? What did they say? It's something to do with the demolition of the theater. The voice said, if they knock the theater down, the girl goes with it. Those stinking radicals. What radicals? They're the ones who are flipping out over saving this theater. Nicholas Falcone and his tree hugger pals. Hmm. Listen, Maya's in trouble and I've got to act fast. Sure thing. How can I help? She may still be in the building. We've got to search this place from top to bottom. Roger. Okay. So that was Brady Armstrong. Um, we, so I guess we need to find a secret passageway. Wow, we've got all kinds of excitement here already, guys. Woo! What a beginning. That was... That was intense. Alright, so that's locked. We can't get in that. Here's a picture of somebody. Ooh. This looks super secret. Did that do something? Uh, what did that do exactly? What's in here? Is this like some sort of armoire thing? Some clothes, costumey stuff. Ooh, we got a thing, stick thing. I don't know what that is. All right. Well, I like stick things. Stick things are amazing. We got a clock. Kind of looks like the one from uh, Stay Tuned for Danger that we had to mess around with. And we got some clothes. And, ah, there's the passage right here. Cool. All right. Well, let's check it out. We're already discovering a secret passage in part one. Part one of this Let's Play, guys. I am super hyped. Okay. So, nothing crazy yet. The snake was here. All right. Was it Solid Snake? K Heart T. All right. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly interesting in the secret passageway. Where does this go? Oh, it's another closet. I may have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. Can't you see I'm on the phone here? Well, I'm sorry, we just discovered a secret passageway. This is an emergency. I'm looking for a 19-year-old girl with black hair. Listen, sweetheart, I have a premiere tonight and no stylist for my star. So don't tell me about problems. Oh, well, I think this is a much bigger problem than that. 
You don't understand. I think my friend is in trouble. I said scram. Okay. This calls priority Trimulator. I like how she was just casually mentioning on the phone that someone just stepped out of my wardrobe. Alright, well, I don't know who Miss Rude Lady here is, but I suppose we'll probably find out. Anything we can look at in this room? Looks like there's a piano over there. Old files is that box over there. And we've got a Her Interactive mug. Sweet. And a firefighter hat. This kind of reminds me of the prop room from uh, Stay Tuned for Danger. Oh wait, that just goes there. In fact, I want to say a lot of these things were from that game. Like, I want to say this was from there, right? Am I just imagining stuff? Because I want to say that a lot of this stuff was from there. Alright, so this lady won't talk to us. Can we get out th of the room through the normal door? We can, okay. So I'm assuming that's the women's, yeah, that's the women's room. Alright, so we discovered the men's room and the women's room. So now, I suppose we can look around. Try to see if we can find our friend Maya. Can we pull the fire alarm? I'm assuming that would give us a game over, so I'm not going to do it. Can we go on the stage? Ooh, we can! Oh, we can't look out to the crowd. Aww. Well, that's just no fun. I like old theaters. They look so elegant and stately. Uh, that is a very precise hot spot right there. Alright, let's go... Let's go to the lobby, because we were going to check out the snacks and... All this running around is making me hungry. Heist. Alright. Oh, hey, there's a dude. Those are some tight shorts, man. Uh-oh. I think this is that tree hugger guy. No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. Have you seen my friend Maya? She's 19, 5'5", five five, black hair. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. And the crisis is... She's a reporter doing a story on the theater demolition. She was trying to interview Brady Armstrong. Forget Chomstrong. If she wants the real story, she better talk to me. And who might you be? Hollywood? The fantastic plastic vacuum? I wouldn't go there in a pig's suitcase. I'm Nicholas Falcone. Ah. Solemnly sworn to lead the forces of Haddit and slay the dragon of corporate generica. Who are you? And what's with the doom and gloom? Doom and gloom? I think you're the one who's all doom and gloom. Uh, I'm Nancy, but I think I missed something. Generica? Haven't you heard? The battle is on. There's a human chain forming out front as we speak. But all that can wait. It's obvious you got a situation. So what's up? Finally, someone who will at least listen to us. My friend's been kidnapped. I've got to alert the police and then start searching this place. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high-profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Okay, maybe I'll take back what this guy, or what I said about this guy being sympathetic. Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. And what if they do act on it? A statement? They said they'll let Maya go down with the building if it gets demolished. I haven't asked her myself, but something tells me that's a statement she'd rather not make. She'll be okay. Trust me. How do I know that you're not behind this? I'm not about to take that chance. If you need a phone, there's an outside line in the ticket booth. Okay. I was wondering when we could get some phone of friends here. Nancy, what's the 411? The 411? Come on, Nancy. That's vintage slang. You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. Oh, the information. Exactly. So, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Tell me about That's it. That's oddly this specific. A spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. 
illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? Do you know what they plan to build on this spot after the theater is gone? Oh, it's very hush-hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future, and the owner is some B. Thompson, descendant of J.J. Thompson, but he's never available for comment. Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. Well, he's probably not wrong. Uh, I guess I can't actually go down there. I have to scroll. Catch you later. Fight the power. Fight the power! All right. Ooh, snacks. Can we buy some snacks? I want some snacks. I guess not. Oh, well. So there's an outside line by the ticket booth. What is this? Out of service? I don't know what this is. It looks interesting, though. Is that the ticket booth? I don't see a phone. Oh, what is this room? What is this? Oh, this is the outside line. Oh, is this the ticket booth itself? I guess we can't use that phone. Interesting. Alright, so we've got different numbers here that we can call. Um, just to be safe, I don't know, because I didn't see these options on the screen when we were looking at the phone up close. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take a picture of this with my phone, since we don't have an in-game phone here. And, I don't know if I'm going to call everyone yet. I'm, I'm going to wait to do that, I think. Let's, uh, let's just continue looking around. I want to make sure I got the complete lay of the land first. I don't think we can go outside. It doesn't look like we can go outside. The one thing we haven't done yet is go upstairs. Before I do that, I'm going to look at this. The Bee's Knees Jazz Machine. Ooh. Is this like a slider puzzle thing? Match the note in the upper left corner to the dancers in the upper right. Oh. Oh, so I have to go through this while being chased by notes. Okay, um... Okay, so if you do that, you have to start all over again. Okay. Fair enough. Ah, really? Okay. So that's not going to work out so well. So it seems to favor vertical stuff there. This is a cool puzzle. It kind of reminds me of a Chips Challenge teeth kind of thing from that game. No, I'm definitely stuck there. So if I do this... There we go. Okay, so that's how you do that. I'm going to guess that this is harder on the... on senior mode. Alright, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Yay! So what do we get? We get a gear! Or a coin? Oh, okay. So I, I really can't win anything more, right? Because... The refill prizes light is on. So I'm assuming that by doing this again, nothing will happen, right? The first part's the only part that's really difficult. Okay, yeah, nothing happened. That was cool. I like jazz a lot. I just saw La La Land last night. If you guys haven't seen that movie, it is a fantastic movie. And I highly recommend it. Oh, that's right, we did go up here earlier, didn't we? Okay, I'm wondering if there's some significance to these little bursty things here, or at least a pattern with those. I don't really know, though. How would you want to bet that there's, like, a puzzle in this game that involves finding a specific chair or, like, something under a specific chair? 
I bet we're gonna have to do that at some point. Alright. Anything over here? That looks a little bit like less color than these these other ones that have like a brown thing in the middle. But I can't zoom in on it, so I'm gonna assume that that's not going to lead to anything. We can't really go anywhere here. So yeah, let's go ahead and just head out. Alright, so we met Brady, we met Nicholas, and we briefly met Miss Rude Lady, so... Let me just go back through the... No, not, not upstairs. I just want to go back through the backstage area again, just to see if we overlooked anything, because I feel like there's more to Brady Armstrong's room, and we didn't really get to see it because we were trying to find the secret passage. This just goes back outside, doesn't it? Oh, this just goes into a hallway. That's right, I forgot about these hallways. I can't go there. And that goes back inside, yeah. Okay. This is kind of that point... I feel like, I, I feel like there's kind of like this flow to the, the Nancy Drew Let's Plays where... For the first couple of videos, I spent a lot of time just looking around and trying to figure out the lay of the land. And then as time goes on, I eventually discover kind of the general gist of how everything is supposed to flow. Is Brady in here? I don't see anybody in here. Nope. Alright. Um, so yeah, we saw this, which had... I believe that was the lever that ultimately controlled the secret passage. I can see if it's still open. No, it's not. So I'm assuming that the lever opens it up. All right. Yeah, I don't know if we can really look at anything else. We had this wardrobe thing. And of course, we need to get inside here. Can we use this? No, okay. All right, so we'll come back here once we find the key to that thing. So if we try to go back into the women's room, will something, can, like, can we do that? Or is it locked and we can only get through there? through the secret passage. We can get in here. Alright, let's see if she can talk now. This calls priority. Try me later. Aww. Come on, lady. Alright, I don't think there's really anything more. We looked at all these props and things here and we couldn't really find anything particularly interesting. Oh, wait, we didn't look at this. We got a plunger and other stuff. Yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to do with this, but I'm glad we can look at that grody faucet. Okay. Um, ooh. Here's a radio thing. All right. I'm just going to not worry about this room for now. I think I'm going to go back outside and I'm going to uh, end the video here. And next time, we can start working on calling people. I think that will be a good plan for now. So until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you on the flip side. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment, or subscribe. Let me know if I'm doing something right. And either way, I will see you next time. So take care, and I will see you then.